Alrighty. All right, so I'm Michael Perez. I go as Kiori Knight, and I'm going to be doing a live reading for Scorpio. Also, check me on Facebook and Instagram. I did a Scorpio reading on TikTok, and I did a Gemini Libra Aquarius reading on my Facebook as Kiori Knight. Check that out if you don't want to see the Scorpio reading. It is Scorpio season, but I did an air sign reading, so let's get into this, guys. All right. Let me put my phone all the way down. Scorpio. All right. Let's see the energy surrounding you, Scorpio. So, let's see what's going on. Oh my God. Gag me with a spoon. Let's see, Scorpio. Oh, you have King of Cups. <laughs> For me, king is um, fixed, queens are carnal, and knights are mutable. So the knight of cups would be mutable, Pisces. The king of cups would be fixed, Scorpio. The queen of cups will be cancer. So we have carnal water, which is cancer. We have fixed water, which is Scorpio. And then we have um, mutable water, which is Pisces. So either you intuitive, Maybe you have good intuition. Maybe you're very creative or artistic. Um, uh, maybe it's your feelings and emotions being very intense. Could be a lot of things here. Maybe you have fixed fixed feelings, fixed feelings and emotions. Sorry, I'm tired. I've been doing a lot. Oh, mutable cups, Pisces energy. Either you have a good fucking imagination or someone is very romantic or someone wears their heart on their sleeve. Remember, it's not smart wearing your heart on your sleeve if you're the only one that's doing it and the person is not matching your energy. Then yeah, you get hurt. I'm just saying, psychologically, you get hurt. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Maybe you're juggling your mental health, your health. Maybe you're juggling your feelings. Maybe you're juggling your money. Maybe your love, your health. I don't know. Maybe you're trying to find balance. Maybe you need to make decisions with these things that I mentioned. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Show me what's going on with the King of Cups. What's the King of Cups energy for Scorpio? Why? Why did you have to fall, bro? I'm not lying. It fell. Knight of Wands. Hmm. Some of you could be getting out of your comfort zone. Being more risk-taking. More daring. More adventurous. More spontaneous or impulsive. Yeah. Someone could be doing that. Or you could be dealing with men if you're a woman, Scorpio, and not a man, Scorpio. It could be either or. It doesn't matter. But someone's like running away, taking a risk with their feelings or emotions. I feel like this has to do with another person. And I don't think this is a family member. I feel like this is something more romantic. It could be family. And we could clarify that. But I don't think, you know, this is family. And I need help. <laughs> Oh my god. Whew. That's what happens when you mad thick. Don't get thick. Like, hey, it's like Just saying. Shit, sometimes that should be hurting my back. I'm just saying. Ladies, gay boys, you know what I'm talking about. If you have that, that back, you have that yachty. You have that yachty, you know what I'm talking about. That shit heavy, I hurt your back. Little ass people with little asses don't have to worry about their back problem. Nah, how you saying? <laughs> it's just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you do it too much. All right, all right, right. I'm serious. Nah, this could be, this is, show me the outcome of this energy for Scorpio. Maybe you're in a relationship. Maybe it's your boyfriend or girlfriend. Maybe you married for a while. <laughs> oh. I hope you're not married. 
because someone's not being honest about the relationship. They forgot to tell you something or they haven't said nothing to you. Show me the outcome with the seven of swords. Oh, you're having a tower moment, Mars, Aries. Things have fallen apart. Someone found out the truth. Oh my God, I'm talking to someone that's still with their baby mother or baby father. Or I'm talking to someone that's married to their husband or wife. Oh my God, look at me. Wow. <laughs> Next. <laughs> it's Halloween. Have fun, right? 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 Like you're having a tired moment with this person. I feel like you make a decision or someone's making a decision. But this could be you, the justice card. You want more balance. You want fairness. And you want growth. And since you may not be getting the growth that you want with this person, you can be making a decision to leave. Peace. Where are you going? My Uber's here. I gotta go. I thought we were gonna have Netflix and shit. No. You fucked that up. When you was sucking and fucking that other nigga, other bitch, you fucked that up. Gotta go. Okay. You're not my soulmate. You're not my twin flame. You're not my twin flame. So I don't have to. No. Period.com, boo. Stop it. You embarrass yourself. You lie. Show me this imagination that you have, this creativity. Uh, you, I feel like you. I feel like you single. Some of you, some of you could be getting single. Okay, Scorpio single. Period.com. I feel like some of you are artists. I don't know why the fuck. I don't know if you like Picasso or abstract or comic book or anime. Like, I feel like artists. There's an artist here. Or you could be a mother or a woman, Scorpio. That's very creative here. I feel like you, I feel like you're using art to nurture you. Life imitates art. Here. I feel like you're a mother Scorpio I feel like some of you are very defensive Some of you can be feeling very defensive Or protecting yourself Putting a wall up When it comes to your feelings and emotions When it comes to romance You're building a wall up But I also feel like you're so fucking creative And I feel like when the more passionate you are. I feel like some of you could be demanding feelings or emotions from somebody else. Because the person is not giving you the feelings or the emotions that you want. And you could be demanding it from that person. And I also feel like you're protecting yourself because you're a little fragile or something in Scorpio. And I feel like you're being very creative and imaginative and using art as some type of source to help you. <coughs> Maybe you could be painting, sketching, writing poetry. Some form of art or creativity you're using. I feel like some of you connecting of, I don't feel like y'all gonna be in a, like this is connecting to your higher self, bro. Like this is not like oh I'm I'm getting in a relationship. Oh my god, this is like connecting to your higher self, bro. What the fuck? Like this is beautiful energy, bro. This is the energy you want, bro. What you want to fuck with? What is Scorpio making decisions? What is Scorpio balancing? What is the decision? What is the balance? You know, Scorpio, it's Halloween. Have fun. Uh, could be an ex, it could be a current event or an ex that could be reconnecting with you or coming back into your time frame or your dimension, your time frame, your cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like someone's very frustrated or worried. <laughs> oh, shit. I feel like you're overcoming a lot of obstacles here. Some of you could be leaving your job. One of the obstacles you could be dealing with, with Saturn, life lessons, you could be losing a job or leaving a job, Scorpio, and going to manifesting maybe art, creativity, or another job, something that you love to do. If Scorpio left their job, for the ones that left their job here, are they going to be okay? Are they going to make money? Are things going to be lucrative for them? 
that things are going to be lucrative for Scorpio. Hell yeah, if you, as long as you're devoted and committed to your spiritual self or your creativity or your art, whatever you're devoted and committed to, in the future, baby boy, baby girl, things are going to get better. In the future, be, be a risk taker, be traditional, be a risk taker. Don't be naive. We have cards here showing me advice. You're gonna opportunities of money coming to you, page of coins. You could be speaking on this, communicating about this. You could be talking about this, thinking about this. Here's Scorpio. So it's showing me money and finances looking good. Here. Let's put out a few more cards for Scorpio and then we're done. We survived this reading. Sun card. Ooh, I'm happy. Some of you could be starting a business or having you accomplish something very successful for you with the King of Wands and the Sun card. Strong Leo energy. Maybe Leo energy you're using to make success for you when it comes to starting a business. Success for you when it comes to your career or job and finances. You're established. Established, successful King of Wands. Happy for the results and accomplishments. Sun card. Some of you could be going on vacation. Scorpio, if you're not happy with the success. Alrighty, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be a guy dealing with a boss. Or you could be dealing with your boss. If your boss could be telling you something good about work, maybe you're becoming a manager. And that's why money's getting better. You got better opportunities here. Alright, I'm Kerry Knight and I'm signing out. Peace out, world. It's been nice. Thank you, Scorpios.